What's up YouTube, Adam Middlesworth here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over the perfect targeting strategy for real estate and mortgage. All right, so if you run Facebook advertising or Instagram advertising, and you're targeting listings, or you're doing homes lists, or you're doing lending campaigns, tune into this video, because I'm gonna show you the exact strategies we use for our real estate and mortgage clients. All right, guys, so let's dive in here. I'm an ads manager. The only thing I'm going to show you today is the actual targeting we're doing. I'm not going to show you the ads. In previous videos and in future videos, I'm sure, uh, I will have the actual ads, the ad copy, uh, the campaign objectives, things of that nature. If you're interested in our Facebook ads starting guide, uh, click below. I've got that as a free download, all right? So in this video, we're gonna go over exactly how to do targeting for real estate and mortgage loan officers. So I've set the everything to default here. So the very first thing you're wanna, going to want to do is change this, everybody in this location. You want people who live in that location, right? You don't want everybody who's traveling to, I live in Dallas, Fort Worth, so if everybody's traveling here, I don't really wanna target them, right? So I wanna do everyone who lives in this location. And then we're going to target Addison, Texas. Uh, that's where I live, so it's easy. And then from here, what we, what we want to do is go into the targeting that Facebook allows. So you've probably seen in previous videos that I typically just do broad on the very first ad that we do. The reason being is if you've got a listing especially, you want everybody to see that, right? It's branding, it's awareness. Uh, people will like it, comment on it, share it, uh, and that's really valuable for the overall success of the actual ad, right? And then what we can do is go into more uh, perfect or detailed targeting so that we can actually get our ideal customer, right? So if you're getting low quality leads, this is the video for you. So on the very initial thing, you probably see us just targeting 18 and above. Sometimes we'll do uh, you know 26 and above. We do only English. If you do speak Spanish, you don't have to do that. Or if you speak other languages, great. What we do is exclude. So National Association of Realtors is what we typically do on the initial ad. National Association of Real. Okay, interest. Okay. So I've excluded a lot of the real estate specific stuff. Um, what I do want to do here is go back to 10 miles and see what our audience is. So we're at 240,000 um, here, right? So what I would do on the initial ad is actually just target this demographic, right? I would even open this age up to 65 plus and that'll be, you know, 600,000. And what we can do here is target less than 10 miles. Now, if you're doing an address, if you've got a listing with an address, just type in the address and do that and go less than 10 miles. I'm going to drop a pin here so that I can do that. Uh, pro tip, if you just do the city, you can't go less than 10 miles. If you drop the pin right next to it, you can. So we're going to drop a pin right next to it. And we're going to scroll up here and do, let's do five miles. Okay, and then from there, the, on the initial ad, this is probably what we would do. You can do a page post engagement ad, you can do a traffic, you can do conversions, you can do lead forms. Uh, they obviously all have their different objectives of what you're wanting to accomplish, right? Uh, I've got future videos on that. If you want our Facebook ads guide, click on that below, it's free. Uh, it's just six videos overviewing the Facebook ad process, going over everything. Uh, but for this video, uh, if you want to do more advanced targeting, right? So starting with this, this is what we do. If you want to do more advanced targeting, here's what we do. So if you want to do um, targeting within Facebook, that's fine. The problem with that sometimes is you can't do income targeting with real estate specific stuff. That's against the Fair Housing Act. That's against Facebook's ad policies. So you can't do that. So if you come in here and do income and you try to do that and, and publish the ad, it's going to get denied almost every time, right? So from here, uh, what we do for income, if you got a high uh, value listing, so if your average price point is at $350,000, then what you can do is go Google city data and use those zip codes. So that's actually what Facebook does. If you do income, 
it's actually the zip codes of people who earn in the top 10%, right? So that's all we're going to do. If you just go to Google and type in city-data and then your city state, this income map should pop up. And what we do from here is we can say, okay, I know that somebody who's making $158,000 can buy this home. So I'm going to include those zip codes, right? Because that's the medium household income. So I see these zip codes here, 75010. I'm going to scroll back up, 75010. I'm going to enter that. I'm going to go back to the city data, 75024. Come back here, 75024. And I just keep doing that until I have an audience that I like, right? Um, within that 10 mile range or five mile range or wherever you want to work, right? So you don't want to target people 15 miles away in Dallas, Fort Worth if you want to just stay in the area uh, where you're farming, right? Where you're working. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, make sure that you're targeting areas that you will actually want to work in because they might not want to purchase that home. They might want to purchase a home closer to them, right? So make sure you keep that in mind. And then from here, what you can do is you can do interest targeting. So you can do Zillow. You can do all those types of things, right? Zillow, and then you do suggested, and they'll come up with all of this, right? Trulia, house hunting, you know, real estate in general. But what I would do is I would just do all of the, the mortgage stuff, so pre-qualifications, so lending, and then do suggestions from there. Mortgage calculator, mortgage loans, um, maybe like property taxes, things like that, that's going to get you a little bit more specific if you are going to do interest targeting and demographic targeting and behavior targeting, things like that. Things you might want to do also is exclude uh, like bankruptcy folks. So if they're interested in bankruptcy or interested in the bankruptcy court, you want to exclude them because they probably can't purchase your house. And then from there, what you want to do is, is exclude people who have moved or recently moved, right? So you can exclude those folks. And then you've got a pretty good idea of, okay, these are high income earners who are interested in this mortgage stuff. Um, and then you can go from there. The next thing I would do is find the demographics in your area. So find the trends report. Uh, you can do national trends report. That's what we typically do. But if you want to find the trends report in your area, great. So I know that people who are 37 to 51 are doing a specific thing, right? They're married. They're making $106,000 at least. Um, you know, you can you can create a buyer's persona for first-time home buyers. You can create a buyer's persona for people who are looking to upgrade homes. You can look create a buyer's persona for people who are looking to downgrade homes, right? So I would do that for all of these. You can come back in here and say, okay. I know first-time home buyers are usually 27 to 35 in my area. They're married and they make X amount. So I can come in here. I'm going to X out this. I'm going to say, okay, they're 27 to 35 years old. They are married. So we're going to come back in here and say married. That is a relationship status, so married. And then from here, I can go back in and say, okay, I want to target their income as well. So they're 27 to 35, they're making a certain amount of income, and they're married. That's the perfect, and you can even come in here and say, do they have a newborn, right? So you can come in and talk about their family, right? They're interested in newborn, they're interested in newborn screening, they're interested in all of those things, right? So uh, they've just had a new baby, they need a new home, they need an upgrade, right? You can target those people. So... It's not necessarily all within Facebook interest demographic targeting. You can go into city data. You can go into the National Association of Realtors. All you have to do is Google that and create your buyer's persona for each of those areas, right? Um, so that's the perfect targeting strategy for real estate and mortgage loan officers. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below because I come up with a new video every single day, 1 p.m. Central. All right, guys, so I will see you in the next video.